Today's a real super simple recipe, easy to do, and then stay tuned. I'm gonna show you what my husband and I will have for dinner tonight. Okay, here we go. We're starting out with six ounces of tomato paste. I have already put my tomato paste in the bowl, or in the crock pot. And then we're gonna add one fourth cup of just water, just water. And then in this bowl, I've added one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and two tablespoons of brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of garlic and half a teaspoon of onion. So I'm gonna put that in there. Oh, and, and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. All right. If we were at home, I forgot to bring my smoke flavor, but you can buy it in a small jar like that and you can buy hickory or apple. Normally, if I was at home, I would add a fourth of a teaspoon of hickory smoke flavor. That would just help give it a little bit more of a uh, authentic barbecue flavor. And it's up to you. You can add your red pepper flakes if you want to. Um, I would add just a, a pinch, like maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. Um, if you really like spicy stuff, add a fourth of a teaspoon. That'd be really yummy. So let's stir this up. Whoops, being splashy here. And just make sure you incorporate your tomato paste with your vinegar and your water, your brown sugar and your spices. It's going to be thick, but I have found that if I make it super thick by the time the chicken cooks, and you know, water comes out of chicken when it cooks, then it is not so uh, sloppy of a barbecue. All right, that's pretty much stirred up. So I am going to add my chicken in there. This is one pound. Today, all I have is chicken breast, but I will tell you, if you use boneless, skinless chicken thighs, um, they are so tender, so tender compared to white chicken. White chicken can get a little tough. Um, uh, and typically I would use chicken thighs, but uh, I just don't have any today. Okay, so I'm gonna show this to you. There we go, see how thick and, and uh, clumpy it seems to be? That is awesome. Okay, we're gonna set it on our typical pie for five to six hours. And uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna have for dinner at my house tonight. It is so yummy. Here we go, it's all cooked up and I just take my forks. See how that broth is not thick now? Or the barbecue sauce. And I just take my fork and pull it apart like that, two forks. Just work it like that. And then it'll be, soon it'll be all shredded up. Super easy, super easy. And uh, then you can serve it on a roll you can serve it on toast. You can serve it over rice. There are so many things you can do with this. But it is barbecue chicken. And see, see how when you get it broke up, you still have like a nice thick sauce. You can probably even put this over spaghetti, come to think about it. I've never tried that, but I bet it'd be good. And so there, there's your final product. Looks yummy, huh? Yeah, looks very, very yummy. And so stay tuned. I'm getting ready to show you what we're having for dinner. Okay, we have our crabs cooked, our butter, and our rice with garlic and tarragon. And we are ready to feast. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye-bye. See you next time.